血青春无穷尽，上线下线会有时啊。没关系，这都不是事儿。有了掌上穿越火线，带你穿越电脑，在手机上获得不一样的 CF 体验，不用对着电脑，一样继续你的 CF 人生。掌上穿越火线是专门为 CF 用户打造的线下移动社区，有了它，你可以随时查看最新的 CF 资讯，进行评论，并与好友互动。这里有新鲜热辣的情报站，集结 CF 攻略、视频、动漫等多元化信息，还有最新最棒的 App 独家福利。在这儿，你还能查看赛程安排，掌握赛事动态，观看直播，参与互动。不耽误一分一秒，就算等车、蹲坑、吃饭、上课，一样长姿势。你的基地，你做主，最强功能全集合。这里有我的仓库，实时查看资产动态。火箭百科，最全面的武器信息大全。地图点位，全模式地图攻略，成就大神之路。成了高手，不炫炫怎么行？第一手的游戏数据，这里提供军衔、胜率、开低值、爆头率、模式等全面战绩查询。酷炫战绩，样样让你跪。轻松一键分享。让好友看到你的最强战绩。总之，有了这个他，有兄弟，有身份，有猛料，从此一手掌握。有你，战场才够爽。掌上穿越火线，新战场不下线。掌上穿越火线，现已登录各大应用商店。还在等什么？赶紧下载吧。Welcome back here again. We're getting ready to get into map two here between Vici and Makta. Of course, I am Lawai. <laughs> Joined by AJ. All right. Those are the words I'm looking for. Okay. So uh, it's okay because I got too, too many names. That's All true. Right. That's yeah. true. All right. So we're back in CF GI again. So first round, finish off Vici winning Makta on the first round. Very but convincingly. Yeah, very convincingly on that soft ways. It was 10-6, but it did. It felt like a bigger, a wider margin. Yes, maybe. it it was a bigger margin, especially when Vici getting six points on the attacking side felt it, real big. It it felt for me like uh, there was there wasn't much question mm -hmm. after maybe four or five rounds. Yeah, it just felt like Vici was cruising to a, to a victory on that map, and so here comes the second map. Sorry about that. So here comes the second map where Chinese teams are known to well played on this map, which is yeah. Ankara. And Ouija, no question and hands down, are one of the best teams in China. And we did get word that mm -hmm. Makta did select Blacklist. Mm -hmm. So maybe looking to go out there and take it to Ouija early on the attacking side. Yeah, that's possible. And when Makta is on Blacklist, and this is gonna end up like let's put it out this way if I'm predicting if Magda gets four points on blacklist there's still hope for them oh absolutely yeah. I, I think a 5-4 I result will be fine on the attacking yeah, side I'm looking for a 5-4 from Magda right there I'm wishing that, that they can get a 5-4 so we're going to get a third map 
Yeah, I want to see a third map. I want to see a bit worried we might not get one. Because I want to see the third map. I want revenge going M against Emzin. Because for on the first map, on the first map we saw Emzin taking down Revenge like more than yeah, four times, absolutely. five times. The, that matchup has definitely gone in the favor of Emzin. So, I want to like a, I want to see Revenge revenging for that kill. The, he's definitely gonna want another another shot here mm -hmm. to go out there, and maybe that that's part of the reason why they they took the attacking side was to give Revenge a chance to maybe go out there and. Still a good map. We have seen. Pretty, pretty good plays from actually Magda on that map on the Ankara actually, and well, I'm giving a 70-30% shot to Magda right there. Yeah, I I think that's about right. Uh, they're gonna have to do something here for me because it it just it really it, at least on the first map, it felt like VG was cruising it. And, and I think a little bit, I felt like Magda was a little bit losing up and getting more floppy in the end. Don't yeah, know why. maybe a little bit of tilt coming through. Hopefully not. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to Magda being able to show me something here. Because if not, we could, be, we could see VG cruising to a 2-0 victory here and, and kind of walking their way to the finals and not losing a map. We'll see what Magda can do to prevent that exact circumstance here as we get into that VG versus Magda. Here we go. Does look like we might have a quick restart here. Yeah, we we, we are getting here. It sh should be a quick restart. Just uh, remaking the room and getting back into the map. So it should be fast. Don't get up to get coffee or anything. Uh, or go for oh. a bathroom, something like that. Yeah, looks like Aldrin might actually have it. A, a little issue here with his set headset, which shouldn't shouldn't take too long to figure out. Now I I saw Aldrin having those issues on his like, when training also actually yeah. back to room I didn't I didn't know why but some maybe that got a little bit broken on the way back come to hey, it wouldn't wouldn't be a, an esports tournament if there wasn't at least one peripheral that had an issue yeah of course. <laughs> uh, 18 here who's had some really legendary performances for me in international tournaments, most notably at, at CFS 2014, when he was o o over there on that EP side. Of course, Makta being there as well, I believe they finished third in that tournament, so hopefully they can break that curse of always finishing third in these big international tournaments. Uh, but they're going to have to do that. To, to be able to do that, they're going to have to take a win here against Vichy, mm -hmm. and it's going to have to come on Ankara. And I'm, st for me, I'm still baffled. Baffled. That Makta chose to ban mm -hmm. Mexico. Yeah, it's it's a it's not the best best idea right there, but well, it's a good choice actually. When you're seeing Ouija playing so well on that map, you don't want to go against them. You know you're not. Maybe I think a little bit like Magda wasn't good enough on that map, and Magda maybe did do the right choice, like banning that map. It does look like we are ready to get back into it. As on your screen, you saw Double Q get yelling out the Jayo. Jayo. And we are back into it here with Magda again taking on that attacking side. And a little bit of grenade damage, it looks like, onto Double Q, NJ, uh, N9, revenge. and Revenge. Double Q holding this site here. Does look like Makta is maybe thinking about an early quick execute, and they are. Here it comes onto the A site. Double Q falling back onto the site. Two, getting one. 
N9 picking up another double kill. Coming around and it's a two on four situation right now. N9 getting some tags right there by Grenade. Revenge able to take down for me. It's up to Revenge and AT finishes up with an AK, with a headshot, taking down Revenge right there. Yeah. And we have a one on start for yeah, Ouija right there. We saw an A rush there from Mokta and it just got completely stuffed by, by N9. Yeah. Uh, W did well to buy time and, and force them to kind of uh, look Rotate. at that defense from yes. the two angles. The rotations came out in time and they were able to, to pretty easily close close down that. So that here we rush. have Mzen. He has played so well on the spot, on the, mm -hmm. uh, on the other maps. And let's see if he can do it again. And actually it's a good spot right there. But I don't know if Makta is going to read it or not. Yeah, it, it can be quite a dangerous spot. Uh, but he's done well to, to keep an eye on all those different angles and be able to consistently take people down from there. It does look like Cram does have this bomb here, and we might be looking towards this B site. There is still plenty of time on the clock, just now hitting 130, and Cram might be peeking out here. Maybe not the best idea with the bomb in his hands, but we do see a flash. We do hear a flash coming out. I'm not sure... Still sure waiting, we was. got 18 on the corner right there, waiting for the tunnels to come up, but looks like they don't make the call, and backs away yeah. and through the smoke. And th I think this is a good, good back, up, back we off got here from... 8 over there alone, and ZYK is up alone for the A side. Maybe ZYK is up alone, faking that spot, maybe, just maybe, and maybe they're just gonna rotate back. Yeah, it could be... Uh, but time is taking down to 45 seconds right now. It does look like they are going to head over to that A site, rotating pretty quickly. Double Q is going to be the first one to get information here. And, and getting some great tags over there. Bio taking down Double Q, and ZYK is low on us also. And Bio getting taken down by a 9, but Cram and Algorin both picking 1, making it 2 on 4. And huge advantage right there. Mzen getting tagged by make able to take the kill, but ZYK coming around and taking Mzen yeah, down. Great round there from Aldrin, picking mm -hmm. up two big lurking kills as as the rotations were coming across, and uh, definitely some signs of life here from Makta early in this in this map here on Ankara. Ankara looks like revenge is waiting for their moment yeah, and we I may have to say, issue. It does look like we have an issue as a lot of people with their knives out staring at walls. Uh, we'll, we will get word to you once we know exactly what the issue is. Uh, hopefully we can get back into the game pretty quickly here. M's in on your screen there for me. Uh, has Emzin had has such an just, amazing turn. Emzin looks like he has a poker face on his face right poker now. Poker face? Really, he's like a poker face. I notice this him every time he gets that, like, gets the kill, and he's still like... Oh. All right. Definitely not, the, definitely not a common occurrence. All right, so the magic voice from our head was the Philippine team had some issue on the gearing, and no? No, uh, we, we heard that actually one of the Philippines players forgot to bring some of their equipment into the match, uh, not selecting oh. all, maybe forgetting the quick defuse, uh, quick, quick oh. set C4 or something like that. Uh, he... The problem has been solved. We are ready to get back into it. Of course, all the points will stand as that. That is his own issue. Uh, if you forget to bring it into game, that's your problem. Yeah, that's your fault. Nobody's there to to check that for you. And it does look like Makta is going to go ahead and poke in towards this mid area. I think we do see Emzin holding up there on that balcony again. Revenge and Bayou heading over towards this A site. Peeking in, see what, see if they can't get any information. Although we all know that revenge is peeking in, see if he can't kill somebody. Uh, we've seen such so many aggressive plays from him, both positive and negative. negative. Uh, looking forward to maybe see see if he can't find some more consistency going 
going into this map and so we got two guys on the point A and looks like 18 is called for the rotation to come back to A and just the time they just called the rotation back looks like Magda just backed away yeah they do they do bait out a little bit of equipment there on that A site but and I just saw Emzen on that big balcony again over there still waiting yeah uh, to me that seems like a pretty weak fake there on the a side and it mm. does seem like uh vg is reading that and rotating over uh they did just it, it, it coming out weak. there goes it emzen misses the shot but getting some tags on himself moving around emzen calling the double kill comes up with a double kill right there taking down zyk and cram 18 able to take down bio Aldrin trades for me for it. Coming around, Revenge Ooh. with a great hit shot, taking down two and taking down 18. It's a one on two situation. Emzen was it up and he's low on health. It's up to Revenge to win this round. I think uh, Emzen doing a good job here to go ahead and rely on N9. And N9's flanking around. He's gonna get the kill right there. Revenge able to kick down Emzen and planting the bomb down, but he doesn't know where is it. He's well, he was able to make some tags on N9 right there, but yeah. he was low on hills, unable to get that clean headshot. Yes. Uh, just Great play actually from Revenge on that round, mm -hmm. pulling some confidence back for them. I I do still think that maybe that that fake that they pulled towards that A site was pretty weak and. Uh, read very well by VG as the, the rotations came out pretty early and they they didn't commit too many people to that A side. And it does pay off in the end and now VG is going to take the lead here 2-1. to one. Definitely still early here. We, we've not seen either team really jump out to any sizable advantages. Uh, not just on the scoreboard, of course, as it is too early for that, but in momentum or, you know... Sometimes you can just feel that a team is outperforming another one, and it does, certainly doesn't feel that way yet. Uh, as it doesn't, we do we do look like more evenly matched here on. And Emzen gets a huge tag on his uh, only two HPs left, and it's gonna hurt for him. But still, with that up, he still got the chance to revenge, revenge right there, and that's just barely making it for Emzen. Yeah, luckily, if you're gonna pick somebody to only have two HP, it's definitely you. You want a guy, or you want your offer to have that, have that situation going. As that we've seen some great plays on low health members with that op. N9 coming around, N9 coming around, around, and that time, good panting and bio makes that kill count for revenge and saving yeah. revenge. Right Absolutely. There. It looked like N9 had picked a great time to peek us as Revenge had just turned his back, but Bio had not turned his back and is able to, to give Mata one man advantage coming in here. The bomb is. Double Q does take down Bio, and it look, doesn't look like we are still going to have to see an A hit here as time is running low. Cram picking up a big kill there on the double Q. And it's a 3 on 2.5 actually, like Emzen just with two hells left. Yeah. The bomb has yet to go down. It does look like it is going to go down now. Uh, with only 20 seconds remaining. And the bomb's going down. And Ringe does make that shot on 18. Yeah. And Emzen is with 2 HP left. And he's going for the bomb. So I'm making some noises right there. If Cram stands for it, he's going to get the kill. But Cram getting that hit shot yeah, on 2 overkill. HP. Yeah, overkill. Overkill there on Emzen. A headshot on 2 HP. Uh, does close the round out. And that... That, that would have been some Actually, very right now for the Magda team, so far so good. Actually. Absolutely. So far so good. They got two points on match two. ZYK getting, getting for me down. 18 falls up and trades him back. And Bio trades 18 back. So we got a 4 on 3 situation. Magda has a great opportunity on this map. And the best call over here should be going for B before VG members rotate. It does seem already a bit late for that as N9 has gotten onto that site. They are going to give Revenge some time here to peek out towards that balcony, but very aggressive push here from, from VG from and VG towards that A side. 
and N9 is a little bit pushing up also. Maybe they want a little bit surprise. And there goes Bio on the Ooh. corner. He doesn't know. Bio comes out, hears him, and takes him down. Yeah, definitely looking like N9 was going to get that kill, but he turns the wrong way and looks the wrong way. And there's a on the B side. Completely fast shot, spam. Just able spamming. to spray down. Revenge there through a, a complete flash. And that's just bad luck for revenge right there. Yeah, but, and also very good awareness of where where he was standing there for W because he definitely knew where he was shooting. And then coming in round that box over there, seeing Cram, Cram get a huge set kill over there, and Bio was Bio's able to take down double two. Bio does close that round out, and now we see Makta jump out to a 3-2 advantage. Mm-hmm. And the more we see Makta on this attacking side, the, the more confidence it puts that, that we may actually be able to force that they may actually be able to force this to a third map. And at that point it's anybody's game. Revenge is gonna go ahead and poke in towards Ooh, Emzen Emzen again taking huge tag damage at the beginning of a round. He is gonna smoke out that his that connector there. Uh Good force there by, or I actually I would say that was a bad push there maybe more for Emzin. Does pay for it, able to able to smoke it out, and that's one less one less smoke bomb to slow down Makta on this A side. W will will still have his as he is sitting over there with them. The smoke does go ahead and die out. And looks like time goes down to one minute thirty. Both teams are a little bit giving time for both team members over there and still waiting for it and see if someone gets a early information on it. And 9 is going to smoke out that connector again down to probably only double Qs on this site. Uh, does look like we are going to see the attack come out onto A. ZYK throwing a frag there through, the, through that tunnel and, and here comes the flashes. Does look like a bad bounce. And Bio, Bio taking down Double Q. N9 trading him out. ZYK taking down N9. Big shot there from Emzen onto Cram. He is going to get taken down by ZYK. Let's take down another. Ooh, and onto a one -on -one. Wow. Huge kill for from for me right there. With a double kill. Taking down ZYK and Aldrin. They yeah. were so close over that match. They had the point. But sometimes... It just happens. Yeah, it definitely looked like uh, Makuta was going to be able to close that out, but for me, showing showing some mechanical prowess to be able to switch targets. Oh, and that's a big early kill from N9 onto Revenge. Such an aggressive push. Like both also low on health. For me, taking down Aldrin right there. 5 on 2.5, actually. And. ZYK with the bomb coming around, and that's a teammate. Here comes the flashes. Emzen making some flashes right there. Ooh. And Emzen taking down Bio. Great shot from Emzen. And yeah. he's still picking over there. ZYK knows he's around. Ooh. He makes a shot, unable to land that shot on him, but gets a tag on himself. But taking down. Such a. He's just having such a great tournament. And Cram coming Ooh, up with a, a double kill right there. Great play. Yeah, great play. It Probably still too little too late as he has now forced himself into a three on one. But if he were able to pull out that that this five on one solo That should be the best play. Yeah, that that would definitely go up there as far as top plays at CFGI. And it's not it's not impossible here, but it is going to be really hard as the bomb is down. First of all, and three members are all looking. First of all, Emzen is there with that up, and still waiting for it. Double Q is on the side door. For me, is waiting for him yeah. on the rotation right yeah. there, and it all scams to for. And uh, he's going to have to. Ooh, Emzen oh, he gets the shot. One. Coming he around. Have the bomb. He's going to plant the bomb. Yes, he's going to plant the bomb, and he does plant the bomb. And double Q moving there, making some conservation. He sees for me, doesn't see double Q, but I think he hears him coming around, making some stairs right there, making some pace, oh, and, and getting oh. those two shots land on for me, but unable to it, take down right there. It looked dangerous there yes. for a second with both members of lined Fuji up in a perfect line there. Uh, if he had been able to get a couple of headshots lined together there, that that could have been huge. 
But it does look like last round for me might have lit a fire under VG's pants as they did look better last round uh, until the end. The they, still, ending, uh, they still have two rounds to pull that four onto that board right there. Yeah. I'm looking for that four number onto PM right now. Yeah, if Moxley can get at least one more round going into the second half, that will they will feel definitely better about this. But very, very aggressive uh, positioning here by Vici towards that B side, holding outside of the bar and towards those double doors. Mokta has yet to head over that direction, but it looks like Cram might be just now. Yeah, it does. This this could be quite a bit of trouble here for Bio. And here comes Bio. Bio against two members. It's two on the For me getting the first hit shot. Cram coming out to pick him and trade him out. But 18 does get the upper hand and takes down Cram. And that's a great, great trade over there. But ZYK picking up 18. I don't know where did he pick that man up, but he does. It might have been. Yeah, it does look like maybe some spray down. Coming down, <laughs> picking that bomb. He hears that. Bombs around. And trading him out. Great play from M9, but he's low on. Oh, sorry about that. For me, coming around, making some tags, and M9 finishes it. But for me, gets the worst of it right there. Yeah, for me, he's sitting pretty low on HP here. Maybe 10. Aldrin gonna go ahead and pick up this bomb, although we've seen, seen how that can go poorly in the past. And he does pick that bomb up, and looks Revenge like. Revenge is gonna let him know that A side is completely clear here. And they're gonna make the rotation. And as soon as actually VG finds out that B bomb side, there's no one there, they're gonna rotate back. And Ro Revenge may get some kills on there. Yeah, it does look like Aldrin's gonna get the plant down, no problem. And he will have to do that with only 30 seconds left. But this is gonna be really hard to hold here. Uh, definitely gonna see VG come at it from two angles. And it looks like. VG doesn't know that bombs down in A side. They're check, they went back to check B side, and now they're rotating back, and that's gonna hit, hurt them on the time. Still yeah. 20 seconds left. VG is not ready for the push, and Emzin coming out making some shots over there, but unable to get some damage. And Emzin oh. coming around with a piston shot and taking revenge right there, and N9 grip play taking down Aldrin right there. Yeah, it does look like they should have enough time to d get the diffuse out. But, yeah, definitely much closer than it should have been. Mm -hmm. And... It, Makta... 5 on 3, last chance for Makta right there. Yeah. Uh, I think this, like you said, this round is very, very important here. Uh, there's such a big difference. And looks like someone picks him four. off. And finally we get your favorite position at the bar side. Emzin yes. picks up the first kill. Formi followed up with a headshot, taking down ZYK right there. 5 on 3 right now. Formi pulls out his frag and pulls it down, but unable to make any kills right there. 18 got his back, waiting for it, and no one's coming out. The witch comes out with the piston shot. Wow. Yeah, and that's, and that's it. We got it. We got that's an my ace. favorite corner in that game. Mm -hmm. Is that an ace? No, it wasn't an ace, oh. but. It was Before like we definitely picked a, oh, a team a five team. for one clean sweep there. Yeah, uh, that's definitely my favorite corner in the entire game, and you, you get to see why. Uh, just it's so hard to turn that corner when mm -hmm. when somebody's holding that line, and it's really nice to see Vici uh, finally put somebody holding up in, in some aggressive positions two rounds in a row, and it did pay off really well for them. Uh, I think. Ankara can be very favorable to aggressive, aggressive uh, positions on the defensive side, on the defensive especially side towards that B side. Yeah, so on the defensive side, Magda is gonna have a hard climb. It's possible for them, it's, but it's gonna be a hard climb right there. And here we go into the game when the bomb, when the game has started. We have switching side right now. VG has upper hand with six points, six to three, and it's having fun there on the player mm -hmm. cam, seeing some a little bit of laughing and smiling. Big shot there from Revenge to take out Emzin. Double, double Q does trade him, trade him out, but cramping up a big double kill there is going to leave them into a two on four and. Uh, very fast opening round. And ZYK takes down for me right there. They have a chance over there. And we off to a good start for Magda right now. Six on four. Now that's more doable, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Very, very quick round there. Uh, aggressive push out through A. It pans out very well there for Magda. And VG uh, will, will, have, will be on the attack again here. 
and that's not a good choice to again to be aggressive. VG picks off Bio, don't play that much, that's too much. Those tactics only actually work once when yeah. the other team is a little bit on is a little bit careless because they're sure they know that you're not coming down now. But when you come out once, they're gonna say, Okay, he might come out now. Right. And now we 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 have that in our minds yes. that of course we're gonna at least in our hearts be a mm -hmm. little bit prepared for that. You're I think you're definitely right there. Don't play the, that tactic again. Yeah, and they did pay pretty heavily for it. Uh, double two, like two nine comes in. Graham picking up double two right there. N9 picking Graham right there. Richard with a good, great headshot over there. Picking up an N9. Formi follows up and takes down Revenge. ZYK takes on AJ. Also, Emzin follows up with an up shot and taking ZYK down. One on two. Both VG members are low on health right there. Aldrin is full on health, actually 97. And the bomb's down on A side right now. And Arne has a shot bringing this back. Absolutely. This is definitely very doable here for Aldrin. As and Aldrin like comes around. And Emzen on the corner right there. Right there. And Emzen takes the shot. Yeah, definitely not, not the direction he was looking. I don't... Er, he could see both. So a nice little uh, adjustment there from Emzen as he comes around the corner to take that shot. And that's going to put us into a 7-4 situation, and Makta's going to need to string some rounds here together to stay in this one, as they are now down 3 again. And Emzen poking very aggressively onto this site. It does look like the smoke is finally going to come down. And the bomb is sitting there on the ground towards the A side. It is going to get picked up by Emzen. And... Aldrin in, a, in an interesting spot here through that connector. And 18 might run into him here. Ends in making some noise. It does Maybe he and Revenge did see each other a little bit there. Oh! Whoa, great shot from Emzen. And again, a uh, one man advantage pretty early going into this round for VG. And. Uh, I would say again, another pretty aggressive. Wow! Emzen taking down Revenge again. Yeah. This round is going for B side. VG is going for B side. They got the bomb plan right there. And they have the man advantage and the health advantage. Em Emzen's hungry for that ace. And he might get it once this bomb goes down. And Bio, I have a very strong feeling he might just walk straight into Emzen's scope here. Bio being so careful right there, waiting oh, for like Bio. Maybe got the shot over there, and he does get the shot. Bio takes down Emzen right there, and Emzen must have feeling that they're coming for it. And yeah. four on three, still hope for uh, Makta over there. Good communication from Makta there. There's only ten seconds left on the bomb. The they've got to do something, and uh, essentially this round is just straight over. Uh, and I'm picking up one and, and the bomb up goes off. Yeah. Uh, they were pretty much already out of town time by the time they got there. Uh, what, whoever went down, whether they died or not, was just a formality because there was no way that VG was going to let them stick a defuse. Uh, so nice round win there by VG and we move into 8-4. I wanted to say a second ago there, uh, as Revenge does miss a shot there, it gets tagged pretty, pretty heavily as payment. I was... I did want to say there, that was really nice communication from Makta. Once Emzin was seen by uh, one of the Makta members, Bio was able to get that information and immediately pushed in to take him down. Actually, right there, Bio actually knew like Emzin was there because mm. Emzin was making a lot of noises right there. And Bio was so smart playing with it. As soon as he knew like uh, Emzin moved away, he took the shot and s moved slowly to that other corner, making more closes for him. Great play from Bio, actually, on mm -hmm. that round. Yeah, it looked for all the world like he was just going to step right out mm -hmm. into Emzen's scope, and he Emzen was going to pick up uh, three on that round, but he does get taken down. But in the end, it, it wasn't enough, and we move now into an eight on four or eight to four situation. Uh, Makta is it was able to get a man advantage here. Uh, I I'm guessing Aldrin took it out. It does look like he took a bit of a tag there in trade. 
as Revenge had, had gotten tagged pretty early on in this round. Time ticking down now. Bomb does get picked up, and it looks like we might see an A hit here. And we're going to see some flashes come over that wall. Oh, there is one. Double Q goes in, makes some noises, comes around, taken down by Bio, and non taken down not Bio also. Great, great trade, actually, right there. And looks like Bomb goes straight to B. Yep. And Aldrin calls in the rotation. MZ taking down Aldrin with that off shot right there. Revenge looking for it. N9 taking down ZYK. Bomb goes down at B sides and still waiting. And MZ is a little bit careful and doesn't want many, any mistake. Making oh, every corner was N9 turned. picking a bad time to run away unless he did hear Cram maybe. Uh, that could be the case as he is falling back rather quickly. Well, gets tagged. N9, what a shot for Coming around, Revenge was able to take down 18, but N9, N9 got just everybody's actually back right there on that round. Even his own. He he turned away from from Cram. Cram opening up onto him. Just turns around, and says, "Oh, no, don't even worry about it. I'm just gonna headshot you, and then we'll turn over here and get a double kill." Great, great play there from N9, uh, mechanically. Showing us what he's known for again, top fragging here on the d on the attacking side, and now ma match point for, for VG. VG. Right. And <laughs> again, it, it it really looks like VG might just stroll into the finals here. Not we've yet to see them really challenge. And ZYK does see uh, VG right there coming around, cram picking up double Q, and now making that trade over there, picking up cram. Ooh, Bio also. in a very good position here. Making those kills, but unable to pick someone up when 18 takes Bio down. And comes Ooh. the frag, and Revenge peeks, peeks that frag actually with his face. Yeah. Great hands there for Revenge. And oh, ZYK and Aldrin both picking one member down. Aldrin with a double kill, taking down N9, and they got it for this round. Yeah, there's a little bit of life left in, in Makta. Uh, we're going to have to see what... What they can do here to stay alive. They definitely need to be taking it one round at a time. They've got five now on the board. They're going to have to string four more together. Uh, luckily, they are on the defensive side, which I, I feel like it is it is easier it's, to string, easier. string rounds together, uh, especially on the defensive round side. Again at the bar Ooh, very area. aggressive hold here. And getting the first kill, getting the second kill. ZYK getting trade by double. Double Q right there. Aldrin taking down double Q. VG18 taking down Bio right there. And we're off to a good start for Makta right now. Can I just say how, how happy I am to see good plays coming out of that bar? And, and Aldrin taking down Emzin. And now two rounds down, three two to go. To go. Uh, can Makta produce the magic and push us to overtime? Definitely, yeah. definitely a lot of life left in them. They're they're not going to go down without a fight here. And great MZ play in the bar there by Aldrin. MZ making some calls right there, making some tactics. I hear some he's talking about the B point. They may have a B point. Uh, Maybe a set play coming in yes. here. Uh, Aldrin again, holding in that bomb or er, bar area. Uh, maybe not the best choice as you were saying. Oh, but he could have a chance here. And great shot from N9 making that headshot. Does look like uh, N9 and Formi getting tagged pretty hard there uh, for that kill. Coming though. up, and we got three persons on B side, and others yeah. are rotating in very fast right there. Oh, Bio takes down double Q, N9 takes down Bio, Revenge with that finally takes down Emzin. And Ooh. that was a double kill, taking down N9, and also ZYK follows up, taking down 18, sub to 4 me, 3 man to 1, and ZYK finishing it up. 3 down now, 3 two down to go. now. Uh, and just when you need him, Revenge steps up and, and has a huge round there to go ahead and push this to 9-7. Great play and from ZYK and Revenge on the last round. And can they do the impossible here? Revenge looking like he very very well might get a nice pick here on N9. Especially if he doesn't wait for that smoke to fill out. Oh, uh, not oh a bad smoke there. And Revenge gets that kill. But gets oh. straight on by double kill with a headshot right there. 
And actually, that's a that's a good trade. <laughs> that's a normal trade. Yeah, revenge maybe being uh, wanting a little too much does, mm -hmm. does go back for the second kill. Misses had a shot at it on N9. Didn't take him down, and Double Q do is able to to pick him off. Actually, revenge take Emzen down. Yeah, and actually now the time when both teams uppers are down, and right now Emzen isn't allowed to speak right now so as their order right now is down it's up to their teammates to play yeah definitely maybe a, a slight advantage then for Makta with bio still being alive and well uh, does look like we might have an a hit coming out nothing too crazy here uh, cram in a pretty good position here to get some information and definitely going to be an A hit coming out. Oh, and here comes it. Here comes Making the pick. Double kill. Taking down Cram right there. Was and they're definitely going to try to explode on this point here now. Bio taking down 18 for me. Trading him out though. And it looks like they are going to be able to get this bomb down. And, and this is 3 on 2. Makta is up against it now. Uh, really going to have to see a huge play from ZYK here. He's going to take that one. And that's it. And... That's it. Just like that? Just like that, we remain the first game right there and go for the championship. Yeah, mocked up for a second there, and almost making me a believer to, uh, that they might be able to push it in, into, into overtime. They couldn't do it. And so right now, we have two players. good game right there, maybe on the first map, a little bit BG on the upper hand, but a pretty close map when uh, Marco was chasing down BG, chased those boys back, and that's it, and congratulations to BG winning this game. Yeah, it, it, it almost just, you see him having a little laugh there, getting on their phones, it just seems like another day at the office with BG. <laughs> uh, I still, uh, we still have yet to see them tested, and that's a scary thought as they go into the final for whoever, whether it's Penta or AG, which is our match coming up soon. So, as whoever you is going to get in there against Fiji, it's, yes. it's a scary thought. So, for as you said, we have Penta and AG coming up next round, actually at four o'clock, I think. Because we still got ham, we're gonna have some rest over. But speaking of the last map, first of all, actually Aldrin and Bio played a little bit. Uh, Bio played a little bit underperforming for me right there as the team leader. But Aldrin could be played played good enough. And N9, especially N9, yeah. he again like he wasn't playing like. He was a little bit underperforming on the last matches, mm -hmm. but he really like came back on this match, and that's that's a good sign. Yeah, for me, definitely, probably the MVP of this set here mm -hmm. against Makta, I like, would have to give to N9, and it's it's nice to see him waking up a bit. Again, maybe mm -hmm. it, it very much. I think it's a very good point that maybe it's due to everybody on the team playing so well that he hasn't mm -hmm. had a chance to shine yet but he, we and do see it from him here mostly seeing Emzin taking down Revenge too many times mm -hmm. right there and that's the point we saw that matchup start to go the other mm -hmm. way but it was so late in the game and uh, Vici already had 8 points on the board I believe once we started seeing Revenge re really start to win that duel and it, it too little too late too little too late and Congratulations, of course, to, VG, of to course. VG for getting into the final. And All right, so they're the team to beat. They're the team to beat right there. Everybody was there. And I think if I were Mak Makta right there, like Pacific Makta right there, actually it would be an honor playing with that game. And it would be a good opportunity like, because both these teams are international teams. And yeah. they don't get the opportunity to play together much as they do. So they get a good chance over here yeah, playing little, against them. A little disappointing for Makta again. Feeling like they, they might slide into that third place mm -hmm. again. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Uh, we, we are going to go ahead and take a break here. Uh, but we'll be back at 4 o'clock, like you said, for Penta versus AGU.
一项划时代产品，我们生电公司研制的新型保健品——给力神，能够显著改善人体机能，提高身体免疫力，具有提神醒脑、抗衰老、活血美容、胃口好的神奇功效。以前我老婆嫌我快，在家一直抬不起头，用了给力神，整个人自信多了。这不，今年我还报名参加了奥运会的短跑项目呢。我以前体弱多病，在学校老被欺负。自从用了给力神之后，你猜咋的？我现在已经是我们那片的扛把子了。红姐说的就是我啊！我以前是个演员，演艺圈潜规则，不应该知道的。自从用了给力神，再也没有请出导演，白白占我便宜了。戏路耽美也宽了。这不，最近生化危机，新书首套剧组都高价齐头出演呢。一个伟大的理想。给力神不仅能净化人类，还能让人类拥有统一意志，这才是真正的人类补完计划呀！嘿嘿嘿嘿嘿嘿嘿嘿！两个捣乱集团。既然深电集团和潜伏者有渊源，那就让他们自己内部解决吧。我们做双关互动就行了。喂 ，boss， 咱们坚持正义的立场呢？让我们当炮灰，保卫者做收余力。嗯，休想告诉那帮老家伙们，潜伏者永不为怒。老大，台词没错了。一群不靠谱的人。刀锋，你拿无影都干不过我的橘皮枪，还好意思称保卫者一哥？我我没戴墨镜，所以不在状态。妈的，这神器怎么这么难用？小林，我林思璇。还是最后一个愿望。不管什么，我都答应你。<笑>求求你，千万别死，小狼。我想，嗯嗯，我想，我想摸你的三十六亿。你去死吧，还是？<笑>我这个样子，还怎么嫁人呢？哎，别担心。